So hi everyone. We still have a couple minutes, um, but I just thought I'd uh, come on here as I'm trying to, I don't know, kind of situate myself here where we can have the best conversation and stuff like that. So hopefully this is working for you. It looks okay on my screen, so hopefully it's okay on your screen. Um, so if you want, so some I get are just going to observe, right? And I hope you have a notepad and paper and all that kind of stuff. I will, I am planning to take us through like a 20 minute um, workout, a um, little warm up, little workout, little cool down, right? Um, but for the most part, really what I want you guys to do is to be able to have some takeaways, um, know how the upper body works and what are the major muscle groups and why do we do the things that we do in classes? Um, and the fact that, um, Upper body strength not just helps you in your burn and your bar class, but it also helps you in your flow classes. And then it also helps with um, just posture alignment, right? And core strength and all that kind of stuff, okay? So that's what we'll kind of talk about um, today. And if you want to have your video on, go ahead. I did a workout this morning with a girlfriend who's an instructor over in St. Paul. And we had our videos on and it was so awesome. Um, obviously mute, and then when we get to kind of like Q and A and stuff, um, please unmute. Let's ask lots of questions. Let's get to know each other. All that kind of stuff. Okay. So we've got a oh, couple minutes here, but if you do want to do the workout along with me, grab some hand weights. So I grabbed five pounds. So those are my lighter set. Um, for myself, right? And then I grabbed a little bit heavier set. I grabbed some eight pounds and then I grabbed one 10 pound weight. Okay, so you can kind of adjust accordingly. Um, some of you are gonna use this as your primary workout for today and I love it. Some, like I said, are gonna observe and you're gonna jot down and take some notes and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I don't know, like, I don't know, we'll probably run 30, 40 minutes, something like that. And if you got a bug out, like, halfway through or whatever, totally okay with that. Okay, so grab your hand weights, grab a mat, grab a notebook, grab some water, grab a chair, because we're gonna do some tricep dips. Um, they're not for everybody, but it will be fun to see how to do a tricep dip. Um, and then I'll give you some options if you're not a dipper. Okay, so a um, couple more minutes here, you guys, as we wait kind of for everybody to get on, okay? Okay, I'm back, you guys. It's two o'clock straight up, right? So um, I have two cameras going. I just I, I feel like I have to share this because I don't want you to think like I'm always looking off in the distance. So we have a remote camera, and so I, I'm looking into the camera, but then I have my laptop set up on the side of it, and then that's where I can see everybody. So like naturally, you always want to look to where the motion is which means like I'm not looking you straight in the eye, which is kind of my own personal pet peeve. So I'm really trying to train myself to look at the camera versus looking at what I see on the screen. So that's just a little bit about my world. So um, welcome you guys, I'm Holly. Um, I teach um, for Yoga Fit. I teach pretty much all formats, but really what I'm on the schedule for a lot of the times are the hit classes and the burn classes. Um, definitely can teach a flow class, um, one, two bar classes, um, the only class of format that I don't teach is Restore, but I'm definitely a fan of that class. Um, when we're in the studio, right, when we're all together, which hopefully we will be back at some point all together here sooner versus later, um, you can usually find me at Northeast. This is my, my home studio, and this is where I'm at today. And I have the shades open. It's beautiful. I just thought, like, I'm craving the natural sunlight, so I left the shades open. Um, so here's our workshop for today, you guys, right? All things arms. Um, arms play such a huge moving piece of our body, right? And I think as we get older, 
um, you start to see like the shoulder break down. And a lot of times like the shoulder breaks down because the muscles that support that shoulder maybe aren't conditioned or we don't know how that arm muscle all works. And then the arm obviously connects to our core and core, as I like to think, is really your private rectangle, right? It's everything from your hips to your shoulders. So when we do arms, it obviously includes chest. It includes your back muscles. It includes your abdominal muscles, which is your rectus, which is the long muscle that runs like tip to tip, right? Your transverse, which cuts you like through the center. And then your internal and external obliques that wrap around. Your glutes play a big factor in that as well, right? So having strong glutes, um, strong core, makes it so you can work your arms effectively. So want to just talk a little bit about the muscle groups, right? So usually in class, we always start with the biggest muscle groups first, and that is your chest, right? These are your pec muscles, right? So it's all of this muscle. And then all, the opposing muscle group is your back, right? So let me just stand back here, right? Your back and your back, you have erector spine muscles that come up and down your spine, which really allow for you to have good posture, right? And then your shoulders, you roll them back and down. And when you roll those back and down, you start to engage, your chest is opening, your erector spine muscles work. And then your lats start to fire. And we talk a lot about lats, right? So lats hook into the obliques. And your lats, I just want you to do this. So wherever you're at in your space, let your arms go loose. And I want you to draw your elbows back without even thinking about it. So just draw your elbows back, right? So we do a lot of rows in class, right? So these rows. Now, when you row, I want you to think about squeezing your shoulder blades together, like pinch the pencil while your shoulders pull away from your ears. Do that again. Reach. Now pinch the pencil and draw the elbows back. Now let's get even a little bit more funkier. Draw your belly button in towards your spine as you pinch the pencil. See how that can just automatically get harder without any weights, right? So you're opening your chest, you're squeezing your back, and then you let it go, okay? So that's your chest, that's your back. So opposing muscle groups, strong chest, strong back. We want those muscles to be equally balanced. Now when we think about the arms, right? So when you do push-ups, you're recruiting a ton of bicep and a ton of tricep. If you're not familiar with your biceps and your triceps are, your bicep is this muscle on the front side of your arm. Has a couple different muscle groups, but we'll just call it biceps for just because it's easy, right? So a lot of times we do a dumbbell curl where the palm faces the sky. Other times we do a hammer curl where you like fist, right? You're going up and down. And then other times we do a wide bicep curl, grabs the three different heads of the bicep a little bit differently. The opposing muscle groups to the bicep is the tricep, okay? So a lot of times we'll do tricep kickbacks, okay? Triceps, usually you can bicep curl a much heavier weight. Usually you weight down for your tricep, right? In tricep extension, you keep your elbow up and you hinge and you come back. A lot of times we will work all the way to the shoulder it's not quite effective. I'd rather have you stop at your hip. So you have a 90 degree bend, right? So if you were to come upright, this is what your arm is doing. You just hinge here and then you kick back and then you stop at the 90 degree bend, right? That is working your tricep. Lots of different ways to work your triceps. You do it in flow class through a chaturanga, works the front of the shoulder and the tricep. You can do it with a dip. So when we do dips, right, which we're gonna do today. So if you're just joining us, grab a chair. You will dip down and you will push back up. Now, you always want to keep your butt as close as you can and then you dip it down. You want to bend your elbows, right? So it's not about going forward back, which I see a lot of this. That will just give you a sore shoulder. You got to actually bend your elbows. How deep you bend your elbows is up to you. The lower you go, the harder it's going to be, right? You want it a little bit harder. You walk your feet out. You can go to straight leg. You can stack and you can dip like that, right? So it's moving your own body weight. The other option is to do an overhead extension where you grab that weight or two weights and you just bend the elbows, right? I don't wanna call this a modifier for a tricep dip, but it's another option in place of a tricep dip. You're doing those same exercise, the same movement, it's just a different 
it just feels differently in your body. It's not harder, it's not easier, it's just a different option for those tricep dips by doing that extension overhead. The last muscle group, right, we're gonna talk about is your shoulder. Oh, so delicate, right? So you'll hear a lot in class, right? So be kind to the shoulders, and that's usually, I think five pounds is just more than plenty for your shoulders. But if you like to grab eights or tens, by all means do it. Your shoulder, we do a shoulder press, which is up and down. We always start at goal post. You go all the way up, you take it down. Now, if you come down here and push up, you get into your lats, and it's a little bit harder, right? So I prefer gold pulse, you go up and then stop back down, okay? That's gonna work the top of your shoulder, right? So these guys up here, your traps, your shoulders. Now, when we start to get into the finer muscle groups, we have a lat raise, which I always like to do with a bent elbow. We start here, right? You just take those elbow shoulder height and then you bring them back down. So up to shoulder height and back down. Now, you maybe have two pounds, three pounds, five pounds, you got super strong shoulders or you got no weights. You're gonna take your arms long, I'm gonna knock my water bottle over, and you can take a long arm, right? Long arm, that's a lateral raise. It's just different sensation. So bent elbow, a little bit easier. The longer the lever, always the harder, because you take the weight further away from the body, okay? That's your medial deltoid, that's the side of your shoulder. Now we do the same thing in front, right? You go single arm raise, single arm raise, Right, that's working the front of your shoulder, a tricep or a chaturanga push-up works the front of your shoulder and the back of your tricep, right? So when you feel it here, it's because you're working those small muscle groups, okay? And then another option is an upright row, right? Different sensation, same muscle groups, but then you gotta push it down, right? Single arm, two arm, okay? And then the other option is to work the back of the shoulder and we do this a lot, is those rows, right? The rows, the rows, it's your erector spine. You gotta pinch those shoulder blades together, or you can do two arms at the same time. So it's the back of the shoulder and the back, okay? So that's what we're gonna all work today, okay? So um, let me take a pause there, okay? I just explained all the anatomy. We're gonna work bigger muscle groups first. We fatigue those first, because the little guys are working with those. And then we'll come back and then we're gonna fine tune the little ones, right? We end with bicep triceps. Okay, so let me take a pause. Anybody have any questions at all or anything like that? You can unmute, you can chat or anything like that. I'm gonna take silence, that's good. Okay, so let's get ready to move our body, okay, you guys? So here's the format for class today, right? So I'm gonna take us till about 2.40 and if you got a scoot before that, I totally get it, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. You hear a lot right now, um, if you're following other fitness trainers or other studios or whatever, you hear a lot of as many reps as possible. So AMRAP, right, depends on how you like to say that, as many reps as possible. It's kind of what we're gonna do today. We're gonna work at 30 second intervals, okay? So we're gonna do four different blocks of exercises. Each block has four exercises in it. We're gonna do each exercise for 30 seconds. Then we're gonna move right away. No transition, no nothing to the next exercise. Three and four, and we come back up, we do that again. And then I'm gonna give you one minute cardio burst. I know, I'm sorry, I promise. If you don't like cardio, just step touch, walk around your place or whatever. But please don't sit down if you're joining us for the workout. If you're just riding, that's totally okay as well, right? So you decide what you like to do. Um, like I said, some are coming for the workout, some are coming to just figure out how to work their upper body a little bit better. Um, so I'm trying to give you lots of options, okay? So the work is like 21 minutes. Um, this will be on our YouTube channel. It's a great compliment if you were a runner, if you're a biker, if you're a walker or a power walker or anything like that, or if you did a really heavy leg workout like the day before and you wanna counterbalance it with an arm workout, this would be a great one to push play or to do it on your own, right? We're gonna do it with as many reps as possible in that 30 seconds that you can do with good form, okay? And if you're gonna do it on your own and you don't have a timer, you can like time box it. You can say, hey, I'm gonna do 16 of these shoulder presses. I'm gonna do eight army crawls, right? So we can kind of talk through that here at the end if you guys have questions or whatever, but I think we're kind of ready to go, okay? So I'm gonna move my modified chair away, right? My yoga blocks, okay? 
And if you want to use the playlist that Ashok sent out yesterday, um, we're just going to go ahead and um, come to the top of that playlist, okay? And it, there's really, we're not going to the beat or anything like that today, you guys, right? It's just kind of some background music. So I'm going to go ahead, have you hit play, have your weights and your, um, and your chair close by, okay? So I'm just going to take us through a warm-up. It's not going to feel like a yoga warm-up by any means. So I'm going to have you just come up, stand in your space. And just take a big breath. Just bring your arms all the way up. On your exhale, push things away. Come down to the ground. And go ahead and roll all the way up. Let's do that again. Inhale, big breath in. Exhale, push and round, forward fold. Roll it and stack your spine. Let's do that again. Inhale, bring in the good, you guys. Find something good about your day, good about your body, good about your week, your weekend. Roll it all the way up. One more time. Inhale, reach it all the way up. Exhale, blow it out. Nice. Roll it all the way up. We're gonna do a modified cat cow. So I want you to round forward and pull it back. So you round forward, you round back. So think cat spine, open, ready? Cat spine, cow. You got cat, you got cow. You're just opening the chest. You're warming up the shoulders. Three, two, and one. Give me just a little squat, just a little squat down and up. We use these big muscle groups to get the blood flowing, right? Now start with a shoulder roll. Just one squat and a shoulder roll back. Opening up the chest, lubricating these ball socket joints, which are your hips and your shoulders. Now come forward, reach and stretch. Reach and stretch. Nice, you guys. Thank you for showing up. This is so incredible, right? Nice, last one. Take a big breath all the way up. Exhale, swan dive all the way down. And I want you to walk out to a high plank pose. We're gonna talk about this high plank pose, okay? On your toes or on your knees, it does not matter. But what I want you to do, fan your fingertips nice and wide, tuck your chin slightly towards your chest, find space between your shoulder blades. Like how we did that we practiced those rows, we pinched the shoulder blades. We are finding space between the shoulder blades. Now shift slightly forward, firm your thighs, squeeze your glutes. Nice, hold here for three, four, two, and one. Take your right foot to your right hand. Just an easy lunge. Give me a little wrap of the rib cage. Come back down. Let's go to the other side. Take the left foot, wrap the rib cage. Yes, nice, you guys. Just toggle, just alternate between these. Give me one more each side. One more each side. Should have put my pony in my hair, right? Last one. Nice. Come back to your high plank pose. Walk your hands back to your feet. Walk your hands back to your feet. Roll it all the way up. Take a big breath at the top. Exhale, swan dive all the way down. Walk all the way out this time and kind of drop down into a little bit of an up dog. Nice, lift those hips, down dog. Walk it all the way back. We're gonna do that again. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, swan dive all the way down. Walk all the way out. Give me a little baby up dog. Lift those hips, downward dog, lock the hands all the way back to the feet. Roll it all the way up. And let's just jump rope. Let's just get the body rolling, right? Let's get the body rolling. I'm gonna grab my pony, okay? We're gonna start at the top. Keep jumping, four, 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 three, four, two, and one. Nice job, you guys. Okay, so grab your weights if you're doing this with us. If you're just jotting things down, okay? Four exercises. 30 seconds each exercise, no break in between. I'm gonna push my thing away here just a little bit. We're gonna start with an army crawl. Okay, so an army crawl, I'm turning to the side so you can see me. From your knees, from your toes, from your modified plank. You just go elbow, elbow, wrist, wrist, okay? I want you to stay on one side the whole time. Then I'm gonna have you grab your weight. We're gonna do a shoulder press. Shoulder press, remember the gold post position, bring it up, work your lats, work your shoulders. Then we go to a push up, push up, okay? Knees or toes down and up, as many as you can do with proper form, slow and controlled, okay? Then we're gonna go to a push up T plank. So I want you to take one weight, you're gonna put it between your hands. You're gonna do one push up, you're gonna grab this weight, you're gonna T plank with it, 
and bring it back down. If you don't like to move that weight, it's one push up, one arm up and back down, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. My timer starts, you guys, we're on the clock, okay? So here we go. In three, you're gonna army crawl. Are you in your high plank pose? In two, you're gonna army crawl. In three, two, one, let's go. Army crawl, down and up, down and up. Nice, you guys, just army crawl, down and up. Squeeze your glutes, try to take the rock out of the hips. Nice, it's as many reps as possible in these 30 seconds, right? Form is everything, it's slow and controlled. Yes, you have five seconds here. You're gonna drop to your knees. You're gonna grab your weights. Nice. Go ahead, grab your weights. You have a shoulder press. Shoulder press right here. Up and down. Up and down, hold close your position. Belly in. Nice, you guys, drive the arms up. Take them down. So now we started with big muscle groups, right? Chest, shoulder, planks, get your heart rate up. So you're probably breathing, breathing through your mouth. There. Three, nice, put those weights down. One weight goes in the center. You've got push-ups, down and up. From your knees or from your toes? From your knees, from your toes. From your knees or from your toes? Yes, you can, you guys. Yes. Draw your arms back just a little bit, right? I think we were taught to go wide with those elbows. You wanna draw them back slightly. So think to the back corners, right? Here you go, you got five seconds. You're gonna do one push up, one T plank with that weight, right? Knees or toes, one push up, follow the body, bring that weight up, take it back down. One push up, one T plank. Nice, you guys. Come on. You'll be lucky if you get six of these in, okay? Nice, you guys. Nice, nice. This is our fourth exercise. So you know where we go back again? We're going back down to army crawl. Nice. Let's go to army crawl. Other side leads, from your knees or from your toes. Let's go. I'm going for my knees, right? You've got options. You can hit it from tabletop. You can be in that incline plank. You can be from your toes. Whatever option you take, squeeze your belly. Engage your glutes. You're here for five. We go to shoulder presses in three, in two, in one. Grab those weights. Grab those weights. Gold post your arms. You don't like to sit on your knees. You can sit down. Or better yet, you can come to stand. You can come to stand. Weights come towards each other. Don't let them touch. Don't let them touch, gang. You got it, yes. Yes, yes, come on. Yes, you got five seconds. I'm taking my glasses off. Yes, yes, you can. So good, so good. There you go. You're on to push ups. You're on to push ups. Knees or toes. Quality over quantity. Just down and up. Work the chest, work the shoulders. Each one of these blocks is like a superset, right? Working opposing muscles working the supporting muscles. So the second time through, it always feels a little bit harder. Nice. Awesome. Grab that hand weight. You have one push up, one T plank. If it works better to keep your legs wider, you keep your legs wider. Let's go. Come on, you guys. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. This completes block one. Then we're on our feet. This completes block one. Then we're on our feet for a little cardio burst. You got it. So good. You have five seconds here. Can you get one more in on the other side? Can you get one more in on the other side? Nice. Job. Put those weights to the side. We're already on the clock. Here we go. Just easy jumping jacks. Just easy jumping jacks. Just easy jumping jacks. For one minute. For one minute. Yes. You're not a jumper. I got you right here. You don't really want to do any cardio? Just walk. Just walk, right? I just want you to move your arms, move your body, right? Okay? Yes, you can. You only really have three cardio bursts, you guys. 
On the fourth one, we do something else. You got 20 seconds here, Dean. Then you have a 30 second rest. Then you have a 30 second rest, come on. Yes, you can. You're strong. Something good about your day. Something good about your body. Come on, bring it. Here's five. Here's four. And time. 30 second break. Okay, let me preview what you're doing for the next one. I want you to have a heavier set, medium set, and a lighter set. We have those narrow rows that we talked about. Right, narrow rows. Narrow rows. Then we're gonna hinge over. We're gonna deadlift row. Right, we're gonna deadlift and a row. Then you're gonna do that upright row. And then you're gonna do a sideways. Okay, are you ready? Grab those weights, narrow rows. Hinge over, hinge the pencil. Pull your belly in towards your spine, guys. Think about your lower body form, slight bend in the knees. Stick your booty out, pull your belly in. Follow the pattern or the lane or the line that your quads are in, that your thighs are in, right? Squeeze. Yes, you got it. Stand tall. You have one deadlift. So just hit your knees. Give me that bold pulse position. Down and up. Yes, this whole thing is rows, you guys. We're working our shoulders. Yes, hinge. Bold pulse. Come back down. Yes. Heart rate comes up just a little bit, right? Maybe not enough to really consider it cardio but you are burning fat. More importantly, you're burning muscles. Nice job. Okay, upright row. Grab your smaller weights, here we go. Let's start single arm. Let's start one arm at a time. Trace the front of your body. Now go both arms, if that works for you. I'm changing out for my smaller weight because I still have my eights. We're going upright row. You're working the front of your shoulders, right? These are your arm muscles that help you with chaturanga. Nice, you guys. You have your side raises. I want you to take your right leg back. I want you to bend your elbows and just take those shoulders. Right, elbows up to the shoulders, okay? You'd like to do single arm at a time? Absolutely, absolutely, or both. Or maybe you need longer levers, right? If you don't have weights, chances are you might be going longer levers, or if you have two or three pounds. These are our four exercises, you guys. You're gonna swap back out those weights if you went to lighter weights, and you're gonna grab them for narrow rows. We're on the clock. Narrow rows, narrow rows, right? Think open the chest, squeeze and pinch the shoulder blades together. Keep the elbows tucked in tight. Keep the elbows tucked in tight. It's like these weights in right up kind of like towards your chest, towards your armpits, okay? Pull your belly in, support with your core, support with your core, you guys, so good, so good. Three more, two, and one. You have your deadlift. So hinge at the hips, go post your arms. Take it down, bring it back up, right? So you're working your shoulders, but oh my gosh, with these deadlifts, I snuck your lower back in there, right? It's still your core. You need a strong functional core for your arms to work independently. Nice, you guys. One more. Nice. Change out for your smaller weights. Change out for your smaller weights. You have those upright rows. Remember your options, right? Single arm or two arms. Or if you want to try those single arm raises in towards the front, that's a great option. You can do one or both arms, right? Okay? You've got options. You work in the same muscle group, whether it's an upright row or it's a single arm raise. Yes, nice job. Let those arms hang, bend your elbows. Let's start with the side raise. Left leg goes back this time. We take our left leg back, kind of as a kickstand to help support your body so you stay upright, right? Remember you have options, single arm on, long line, or you can do both arms. Come on, yes, yes. You have five seconds and then block two's done, you guys. We're on to our second cardio burst. Nice, put those weights down. Second cardio burst. 
I just want you to step touch side to side. Step touch side to side. Just step touch side to side. Train your brain right differently, right? We do so much of our day forward and back. It's good to move the body side to side. Now take that arm across and take that foot behind, right? Step touch. Now it's looking like a skater, right? Now it's looking like a skater. Now can you add that hop in there, right? Low impactors. I got you right here. You're not in for cardio. You're just walking around the place, right? Now you want a little bit more because we're past that 30 mark. Maybe you go a little lower, maybe you go both arms. Come on, come on. Yes, if you have your mat, can you hop side to side off your mat? Come on, yes. You're here for 10 seconds. Then you got that 30 second break. Yes, here's five, three, two, and one. Take the break, grab some water, okay? Third one, bicep curls. So I have one bigger weight for a tricep. Bicep curls. So, standing bicep curls. Palm is up. You wanna add the squat with the bicep curl, you can definitely do that. Then, we're gonna swap out. We're gonna do a side squat with a tricep extension overhead. Then we're gonna go back to those bicep curls. Then we're gonna take it to our stool for our dips. Are you ready? Grab those two weights. Bicep curls. Turn the palms up towards the sky. How far do you come up, you guys? I get that question a lot. Full extension of the arm. Come just three inches south of the top of your shoulder. Now you want more? Squat down and up. Squat down and up. Doesn't have to be a big squat. Nice. Get rid of one weight or use both or change out to something heavier. I want a side squat. Tricep extension overhead. It's kind of like a kettlebell swing, you guys. Kind of, but not really, okay? What are you working? You're working your triceps. You're working your lats. Part of those muscles that are underneath your armpits that connect into your obliques. Yes? Put it down. Grab those bicep weights again. Bicep weights again, okay? Bottom half only. Full extension, halfway. Full extension, halfway. Now, top half only. Top half only, halfway. Top half only, halfway. Top half only, halfway. Nice, you guys. Give me four full ones. Give me four full ones. Three, two, and one. Here's your tricep dips. Okay, otherwise you're kicking it back or you're going up overhead. Your bum is close to the bench. You dip down and up. Okay, make it harder. Walk those feet out further. Butt still stays close. Don't pull that butt away. Yes, you can. You have five, three, two, and one. Back to those bicep curls. Back to the squat with the bicep curls. Squat. Now it's a hammer curl. Now your hands face your thighs. Now your hands face your thighs. Come on, yes you can. You don't wanna do the squat? Leave it out, right? Leave it out. Or maybe you just wanna bend the legs enough, right? Yes you can. Yes you can, you guys. So good. You're gonna trade out for a little bit heavier weight or drop one or use both. You have that side squat, side squat, overhead tricep extension. Side squat, overhead extension. Nice, you guys. Lats, shoulders, tricep, bicep, core is engaged. It's full body. Full body. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Nice. Grab those bicep weights. Grab your bicep weight. Grab your bicep weight. Lower half only. Halfway and down. Yes, you can. Now, if you like that, stay your stance. When we did those side raises, you can bring it back here. Now, top half only. Top half only. Top half only. Nice, you guys. Two full ones. Two full ones. Nice, go back to your dips. Otherwise, I'm gonna take you 
to a tricep kickback, right? You dippers, you go there. You want an option? You got a tricep kickback, right? Lots of ways to work your triceps, right? Yes, you can. Keep your elbows high. If you're on the bench, butt is close. Shoulders are up over the elbows when you're up tall. Nice, you guys. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. This is the final part of block three. Nice job. Okay, just side to side, side to side, side to side. Arms come up, knee pull, knee pull, knee pull, knee pull, knee pull. We're here for a minute. We're here for a minute. Low impact, this is your friend, right? You need more. You can kick it. High impactors. Maybe you add that little hopping. Maybe you add that little hopping. Come on, come on. If you don't like my cardio, you choose what works for you. You walk around your place. Something's better than nothing. That's been my mantra since March 13th. Something's better than nothing, right? Come on. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just do it. Just do it. Find the good of the day, you guys. Find the good in your body. Find the good in your mind. Because we're on to block four. Nice. You're done. Take a break. Grab some water. Okay. So now we're doing core with upper body. So I'm going to take one weight. Okay. I'm going to turn sideways. We're going to do one roll down. We're going to go up. Press it as an angle. Not overhead. Press it at the angle. Right? And roll up. Then I'm going to grab both weights. We're going to do a chest fly. Chest fly. Your option will be to bicycle those legs. Okay? I'll talk you through the rest. Grab that little. Here we go. Go down. You roll it up. You push it away. Roll down. Roll up. Push it away on the diagonal, you guys. That's your chest. Those are your shoulders and your core working together. Come on. Come on. Shoulders away from the ears. Come on. Slow and controlled. You're going to grab that other weight. You're gonna go to a chest fly. Come back down, go to a chest fly. Arms start up, knees are at tabletop. You open, close. I want you to start with the chest fly first. Okay, it's like you're around a big beach ball. Now you can start with the bicycle of the legs if you like it, right? That's more core, okay? It's a lot of coordination. Do you need it? Oh, absolutely not, okay? Yes, yes. Here's three, and two, and one. Get rid of one weight. Put your arms and legs up the wall. Let's drop one leg. Arms go overhead. Lift it up. If you've been in my class, you know these are one of my favorite ab exercises because it's shoulders, it's lats, it's core. You need more, add that little lift there at the top. You need more from there, go both leg drops and lift up at the top. Yes, you can. We're gonna flip around, we're gonna find a plank. Find your high plank. Find your plank. Find your plank. Knees or toes? Yes? Plank, awesome exercise for your upper body, actually your whole body. Now, you can add the shoulder taps in there. Add the shoulder taps. Add the shoulder taps. You wanna hit your knees and shoulder tap? That's a good option. Yes, you got it. Come on. We're here for five and four. And three, that's the fourth exercise. You know we go back to those rolling abs with that weight out on the side. Let's go, let's go. Here we go. Roll it down, push it up on the diagonal, you guys. So good. So this is a great workout, you guys, that can complement your running, your biking, your power walking, anything, right? Let's do two more. One more. Nice. Come down. Grab that weight. You're going to your chest fly. To your chest fly to start. Chest fly to start. Now add your legs in there. If you want more, you guys, you always know you can scissor those legs, right? Come on. All these are our options. All they are options. Hopefully you can feel your biceps and your triceps working when you do these flies, because that is those muscles that work. Here we go. 
You've got an open close with the legs, right? Let's go, right where you left off, right where you left off, right where you left off. Double or single leg drop. Arms stay long overhead. Arms stay long overhead. When you bring that weight overhead, you guys, I need you to stabilize. I need you to drop your shoulders away from your ears. Your lats are working like crazy. Yes, you can. Two more. Last one. Come back to your plank. Come back to your plank. This is it, you guys. This is it. Then I have a nice cool down for you, right? Let's go to shoulder taps. Let's go to shoulder taps. Shoulder taps. Knees or toes. Come on. Come on. Yes, you can. We're going to talk about some modifications after this and some different ways you can do it without this video. Yes. Three, two, and one. Push back. Child's pose. Nice job, you guys. Just push back. So good. So good, you guys. Nice. Come back up. Nice. Okay. Come back to your high plank pose. Walk your hands back to your feet through downward dog. Walk your hands all the way back to your feet. We're going to do a Pilates roll up. Roll it all the way up. Take your arms up overhead. Come up onto your toes. Lift your heels. Drop your heels. Swan dive all the way down. I want you to walk all the way out to your high plank pose. Three tricep push ups. Just three of them. Knees or toes. Two and one. Come back to your high plank pose. Off those knees. Come up through downward dog. Walk your hands back to your feet. This is a great stretch for your whole body, you guys. Inhale, bring it all the way up. Exhale, swan dive down. Let something go. Walk it all the way out. This is your last time. Knees or toes, you guys. Three tricep push ups. Two and one. Come back to your high plank pose. Lift your hips, downward dog. Walk your hands back to your feet. Slowly roll it all the way up. Nice, you guys. Roll your shoulders, roll your shoulders. Open up your legs. Open up your legs. Roll your shoulders back. Open up the chest. Nice. Now let's swim forward. Swim forward, swim forward. So there you go, you guys, right? So it's a great little easy routine to do. You can do it with the timers, right? You can set a 30 second timer on your phone. You don't have to put the cardio burst in there. Let's breathe all the way up. Exhale, take your hands to your thighs. Tabletop with your spine. Just give me a little contract and release, right? So remember, you can set 30 second timers. Jot these exercises down. Or do like 16 of one, eight of one, go side to side. Let's stretch those inner thighs. Let's just start with the arms, stretch around. Take it around, right? So, so good, you guys, right? Great little compliment. Last one on each side. Last one on each side. Nice, bring both feet all the way up, or together. Bring those arms all the way up, and exhale up. You are done, you guys. All things the arms, okay? So that's it. So um, if you want to go ahead and unmute, if you guys have any questions, any concerns, anything like that, let's talk about it, right? So um, it's a, like I said, right? I did it in the format as as many reps as possible in that 30 seconds. If I was going to do it without a timer, maybe, because the first block was army crawl, shoulder press, push-ups, push-up T plank. I might do eight army crawls on each side, 16 shoulder presses, eight push-ups, eight push-up T plank, okay? Like that might be how I might script it. The next one where we did the rows, I would probably work with 16. I would probably do 16 narrow rows, 16 deadlift rows, 16 upright rows, 16 side raises, right? Then you go to bicep curl. Again, I might do 16. And then with those side squat, tricep swing, I probably would do 16 all total, not 16 to one side, 16 on the, on the other side. And then the bicep curls, when we did those, bottom half eight, top half eight, and then go eight full singles, okay? And then the tricep kick press, right? Do 16 of them again. And then the same thing with your ab roll, with the chest fly, the open and closed weight, weights, Shoulder plank taps, maybe put 16 of those in. Now, if you really want to have a, I mean, if you're just starting out, just do one time through. That's probably more than plenty, right? We did it two times through, and I think it was a good workout. 
you really want to work, do it three times, right? You're really working on building strength and definition in those arms, then do it four times, right? So it should, you know, this was like 20 minutes of movement. You can definitely make it shorter, you can make it longer, whatever fits in to your schedule, but it's great because it's arms and core, right? And then that's what everybody loves, okay? So do you wanna unmute yourselves or do I have to unmute you? Um, let's see, do I have to unmute you guys? This is like where my expertise does not come in very well, let's see. Um, I don't know if I can do that. I think you guys can individually unmute. So, um, okay. So there you go, you guys, okay? So um, let me know if you guys have any other questions, okay? Um, this will be out on the YouTube channel. I think things take a couple days to get out there, right? Um, and it's also good basics so then when you know what to do for a burn class, um, and then it helps support for your flow classes. And then bar is something totally different, right? We're working small range of motion, light weights, if no weights at all. Okay. Um, let's see. There's a couple more chats that came in. Let's see. Ah, great. Somebody did it outside. Love it. Love it. Love it. You guys. Okay. Awesome. Um, gosh, it was a great day to be outside, huh? Um, okay. You guys, I think. I'm, I'm gonna hang on here if you guys have any other questions at all or anything like that. Um, but just let me know, right? So we're gonna do these things um, every Saturday through the month of May. Maybe it'll continue through June. Um, but I can't remember what the next one uh, is. Uh, I know that there's um, a core and more one coming. I think Megan's doing that, which is gonna be core and glutes. Um, and there'll be some other more yoga inspired ones, right? For like to help us with our flow and stuff like that. Okay, so let me know if you guys have any other questions, but it has been my pleasure to be with you guys. This is like a little part of my old life, right? Like kind of life before COVID. So I love that I get to come to the studio. I miss all of you, but I get to see you guys online. So I love it. Um, so keep showing up, right? Keep telling us how we can better serve you, how we can come together um, as our yoga fit community. Um, and keep each other strong, mentally, physically, and emotionally, okay? So, mwah. thanks, you guys. Oh, how to protect low back on shoulder taps. Great question. Okay, so, okay, hang around, okay? So, on those shoulder taps, okay? So, if you're doing them from here, shoot, I should have closed my chat window, right? So, okay, if you're here, right, and you're feeling it in your low back, which I think a lot of us do because we tend to dump into the low back, need you to lift your hips up. And if that's a little too much, then come to your knees, okay, and then start with the shoulder taps. If that's still a little too much, then come to a tabletop and then go light fingertips and then shoulder tap. Now, when you come to a tabletop and you do light fingers, What's going to happen is your core is going to engage a lot more. You're going to feel less of your shoulders, but really it's still full body, right? Because you're still squeezing your glute, your belly is in, and then you shoulder tap, okay? So don't, just because it isn't super hard, don't think it's not working. Because trust me, it is, okay? So, okay, so chances are if you're here and it's in your low back, you're dumping in, I want you to come to your knees if you still feel it there. Bring those knees in, go to piano tip fingers, and then just lightly touch. You're still gonna work your entire upper body and your core, right? And we're trying to train that core to be a little bit stronger, so then we can use more of our upper body when we get to those planks and stuff, okay? So try that, let me know how it goes, um, and kind of report back or whatever. I, I do have, I have lower back issues too, so, um, and mine is just a weak core, right? That's what it is. I'm trying to retrain it and all that kind of stuff. So progress in motion, right? Baby steps, baby steps. So hope that answers your question. So try it. Let me know how it goes. Okay. Thanks for sticking around, Kay. I appreciate it. Thank you, Holly. You're welcome. <laughs>